Good morning. Uh, this is Joy from Enjoy Fitness at 43, and we're going to be doing a Pilates workout this morning. And it's all going to be on the mat, and you don't need any equipment um, if, unless you want to get a pillow to put down for your head. Um, but we're going to be moving around a lot. So this is a 2020 workout, which means we're going to do 20 reps of everything and we're gonna do 20 exercises. So we're gonna see how long it takes us to do that. But we're gonna start out with a warm up. So let's all turn to our sides. Um, I don't have any shoes on, so I'm gonna be nice and comfy. Um, legs nice and straight, body up nice and straight. And we're just gonna reach forward and we're gonna cross over our legs and we're just gonna do a little toe tap. So if you can't reach your toes, don't worry about it. Um, my feet aren't flexed, my feet aren't pointed. They're just nice and relaxed. And I'm just kind of reaching out, just giving my breath, inhaling and exhaling as I go. Just trying to warm up that lower back for all the movement I'm going to be doing and reaching across, warming up the sides and my upper back. Now let's go ahead and take a big inhale and exhale. Let's just go side to side. So it's just a nice reach going up and over. Going side to side if you want to lift a glute up. As you go from one side to the next, that's great. So you get a bigger reach. Remember, we're trying to go reach up as we go over so that we're not just trying to go over. So we're trying to get a lift up through the ribs. Okay, that's last one. Now let's reach forward. So we're gonna come in like we're trying to big, big bear hug. Grab a whole bunch of people. Big bear hug. Let's do that one more time. Great. Now let's just reach up. Now if you can't get your ear by your bicep, uh, or your bicep by your ear, um, that's okay to reach out in front a little bit more like this. That's okay too. So whatever's comfortable for that, for your arm. And you might find a difference. You know, one side might reach up better than the other. And I am switching my weight from one side to the other. So I'm kind of going side to side when I'm doing this, kind of giving my backside a little rotation as I'm going side to side. Okay, now I'm gonna put my hands on the floor and I'm just gonna slide. I like to do these nice little slides to warm up those hip flexors. And I'm trying to stay chin up, chest up, so don't, don't, you know, round over. So try to stay chin up, chest up while we're doing this. And it's just a slide, that heel, nice heel slide. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this leg up, bring the other leg up, and I'm just gonna open and close, nice clam. It doesn't matter if those knees don't go all the way to the floor. We're not looking for that. We're just warming up those hips. Okay, now let's bring those feet in if you can for um, the finish here. Let's rotate those wrists. So we are going to be on the arms a little bit. Um, and... So there's not a lot of planks in this or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about using those wrists a lot, but we will be doing an arm workout. So you'll have to get on your wrists a little bit and then let's just use the neck. So whenever we're in the plank type position, be mindful that you don't drop your head down and tuck your chicken chin in underneath. You wanna make sure that you can still breathe, okay? Down and then a little ways up. Good. There we go. And let's turn it side to side. So looking over the shoulder, just warming that neck up. Maybe you haven't done that yet. Of course, maybe you just came in from a nice run and or a walk. And you thought, oh, I'll just do a nice Pilates workout this morning. 
Now, why do we do Pilates workouts as opposed to weighted workouts? Well, we are doing a weighted workout because you're using your own body weight here. Let's roll the shoulders down and back. Using your own body weight is very important because, hey, you weigh more than that five pound weight that you're usually trying to list or that lift or that eight pound weight or whatever. So it's very important to be able to lift yourself up off the floor. Um, so we're gonna make sure that you can do that. And it's also what I call my no excuse workout so that you can do this anywhere. So you can't, you can, don't have to say, oh, I have to go to the gym to do my workout. Well, no, you don't. You can do this right on your floor with a towel underneath you or a mat underneath you if you have one of those. It's nice to have a couple pair of weights, um, but you don't ever have to have any weights. Your body, you've been given everything you need right here. Um, God's given you everything you need to do your exercises. Um, we will be using um, a surface, uh, like a couch, or a coffee table, or a chair, or your fireplace hearth for a couple of the exercises today though. Um, I'm going to use my couch behind me um, because it's cushy, and one of them I'm going to put my back up against. So um, if you need a, a pillow to put up against a harder surface, if you're going to use your coffee table, you have to make sure it's not going to slide because you're going to be pressing up against it. Um, but you'll see, and of course you can always stop me and get set up after you see what the exercise is. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start with our upper body first and we're gonna start with working those triceps because we all want those nice little triceps on the arm. And we're gonna go ahead and get on our knees and place those hands out here. Okay, so the hips are gonna be over the knees. Uh, hands are gonna be out a little ways from us, so not like right underneath you. So go ahead and step those hands out just a little bit. And we're just gonna drop the elbows and then bring them back up. Uh, we're gonna do this 20 times. Uh, so try not to drop the head. And you don't wanna really lift it up the whole time either. We wanna to try to keep that neck neutral, mean, meaning in line with your back. And also you need to think about your body. We don't wanna drop your tummy and you don't wanna round your back either. So you wanna have a nice flat back through all this too. So here we go, let's do 20 of these. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, pull that belly button in, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Perfect. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit harder next time you do it, you can always stick one leg out the next time you do it. Um, and then of course, to make it even harder, you would stick both legs out and then try to come down and up. Um, that's really advanced. Um, so you can work up to that. All right, our next exercise is going to be on the couch. So it's elevated. I like to use the couch because it's cushy on my wrists. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do is get too far away from the edge of the couch. You're just going to slide your hiney right off of it and kind of almost slide your back up and down the back of it. And we don't want to go down too deep either because uh, we don't want our shoulders to roll forward. So I'm going to place my hands right next to my tush, okay? And then I'm just going to go down and up. Now I can make my feet go out further from me. And then that way it'll be a little harder. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, you can pop back up. Whoa, that's a lot on those wrists. Perfect. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be what we call thumbs down. So get in a good seated position for you. You can cross your legs. I'm just going to bend my knees like this. 
Um, we're gonna take our thumbs, we're gonna put your thumbs down and you're gonna push your arms back like you're trying to fly. Lean forward just a little bit and we're gonna pulse. So I'm gonna count to 20. Okay, and remember, anytime you exercise, if something doesn't feel right, get out of it and start over. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great, oh, shake it out. Good job. Okay, our next exercise, um, and our last one for our triceps is an up, up, down, down. Um, we're gonna do this modified, so we're gonna do it on one leg. So I'm gonna stay on one knee, the other leg is gonna be out for this one. And we're just gonna go up, up, down, down 20 times. So we're gonna go down like this, and then bring ourselves back up. And then I'm gonna switch arms. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. Now, if you've ever done those with both legs all the way out, you know that's quite a challenge to be able to do that. So you, if you want to take both legs out, you want to, might want to break that up into two sets of 10. Alrighty. So now that we've done our tricep workout, we're going to move into our back. Alrighty. So we're going to do a side plank with a raised T leg raise. Okay. So we're going to do a side plank. I'm going to be on my long arm. We're going to raise this leg up, okay? We're going to bring our arm underneath, and then we're going to bring it up. So when you do this, I want you to remember that you're supposed to look at that hand, and that's actually going to help you balance more. Now, my foot is up. If you need to put your foot on the floor, that's perfectly fine, too until you get that balance. What is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, 10, feel this in more than one place. 11, your tush might feel it. 12, in that upper back. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do the other side now. So remember in Pilates also, we don't wanna do everything super duper fast either. Sometimes we need to take it nice and slow so we can let those muscles burn. Okay, on my side, foot's up, down we go, and then up. One, get my hair out, two, Three, four, five, six. Remember, you can put that foot down if you need to. Seven, eight, nine. Just an extra challenge. Ten. Make sure you use your core more. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Perfect. Love that one. Okay, now on to the all fours, okay? So don't let your tissue stick out. Let's pull it up, pulling in with the belly button. We're gonna stay on one side, we're not gonna alternate. And we're gonna do a bird dog with a little bit of a curve. So that means we're gonna take the right arm out, left leg, and then we're gonna bring them in, kinda of like you're trying to touch your elbow to your knee, and then bring them back out. So let's do that 20 times, so that's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, okay, so let's get that, rotate the hand around. There we go. Let's get ready to do the other side. All right, so hand down. So it's the opposite side this time, okay? So taking it out and bringing it in. So you might find one side more challenging than the other. Two, three, make sure you pull it through that belly button. Four, when you're extending. Five, six, so we're saying this one's for our back, but you're also working your glute and your abs. Okay, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. All right, we're gonna bring it back down, shake it out, Ooh, rotate those arms around. All right, so now we're gonna do an alternating leg lift bridge, okay? And we're going to do this, um, on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna go on the floor and come down here. We're gonna do a couple different types of bridges today because um, they do a multitude of things. So now this is gonna get your lower back. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, bring your tushy up, pull the belly button in, which is gonna help support that lower back. So we're working the lower back upper glutes here. Okay, I like to get a little bit higher onto my shoulders by just kind of tucking them in. Hands are on your sides in order to keep you nice and supported. You can even hold onto the side of your mat if you want to. And we're just gonna bring each leg in as if we were marching. Okay, so that's two, three, Four, try not to sag. Five, okay, watch that chin. Remember, whenever we're on the floor, you don't wanna tuck that chin in, neutral chin. Seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, I'm trying not to go too fast, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to lower that tush back down. Okay, bring ourselves here and roll ourselves up. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on to another part of the body now. So let's move on to our booty. Seeing as how we already started warming that booty up. Um, so we're going to do it on the knees leg lift. So let's go ahead and get onto those knees. Okay, supporting yourself. So if your hands are tired and you want to take yourselves all the way down here, that's fine. We're only going to stick one leg out. We're going to be nice and tall, pulling up through the belly button. And we're going to lift that leg up. Okay, ready? 20 times. So one, kind of point in the toe just a little bit, but not too much. Two, three, four. Notice where my neck is. I'm not hanging it down here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Perfect, let's switch sides. So when we're doing it, I want you to think about it coming up and coming back down, okay? Extend the leg, make sure that neck and that belly are right, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Perfect. All right, so sit back just a little bit in order to give that booty a little bit of a rest. Okay, so we're going to go do a different type of bridge now. So here's where your couch or your table comes in handy. If you're on a table, get a pillow and put it behind you because we're going to lean up against the couch now, okay? And we're going to do the alternating uh, lift just like we did before. So we're going to lift it up. So I'm going to push through the couch and try to get up a little higher. Two, three, good, four. Five, six, seven, eight, trying to lift everything a little bit more, nine, ten, good, feeling it underneath, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. Okay, sliding back down. We're going to do one more type of bridge. We're going to bring it in closer. Okay, I'm going to get on my toes this time, bringing my heels close to my hiney, and I'm going to bring it up and down together now. So I'm going to drop and raise up. One, watch that chin. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14. Are you giving a little squeeze? 15. Squeeze. 16. 17. Good. 18. 19. One more. And 20. Perfect. Okay. Knees to chest. Roll side to side. Giving it just a little bit of a break. Okay, from here we're going to go into the inner thigh. So what I want you to do is I just want you to bring your knees up, legs nice and flat, move those arms out of the way. I'm going to put them side to side so I can help balance myself. Open my legs up and I'm just going to open the knees and back in. Okay, so those toes and knees have to follow each other. So this is three, four, five, good, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just let them fall out as far as they can. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Don't let the knees get too close to you. Eighteen, nineteen and 20. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to come back to this position in a second, but right now we're going to roll over onto our side. So I'm going to fix my mat real quick because I keep wiggling away from you. Okay, on the side, good old-fashioned side leg raise. So on your side, you can put your head down, you can lift it up. I'm going to lift it up. Making sure your hips are stacked. So when I mean stacked, it means you're not leaning back and you're not leaning forward. So make sure you're adjusted. This top leg's gonna hang over the top, and we're gonna take the bottom leg out. Let me see if you can see my foot. Okay, and we're gonna start with a flat foot. So you're actually gonna make sure it's nice and flexed, and we're gonna lift the leg up 20 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're gonna hold it up and pulse it. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect, okay, so now you're gonna point your toe and down and up. One, two, three, four, Five, feel it yet? Six, I do. Seven, eight, nine, ten, woo! Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and little pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Ah, and relax that thigh. Okay, let's flip over. Gotta do the other side. Alrighty, again, make sure your head and your neck are comfy first. Make sure those hips are stacked. Bring that leg over. Make sure that's nice and comfy. And we're gonna flex the foot first. Bring it up for 20. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if your foot doesn't come up as far as mine, um, that's okay. 17, 18, 19, 20, we leave it up and little tiny presses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, point the toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19 and 20 and down. Okay, so last one. Let's roll back onto the back, lift those legs up. We're gonna do a point and flex. So we start with point, we bring it back flexed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to roll ourselves back up. So this is going to be a really good time for you to have a little water break. And we'll be right back.